Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Pop Pages Quick Tip Series. I'm Ambay Singh today with Maya, who is joining me from Vienna, Austria. And in episode eight, we are going to talk about how to integrate SharePoint documents in the Pop Pages sites and get rid of you know the concern of data. So, Microsoft DataVerse support integration with the SharePoint Online that enable you to use the document management capabilities of SharePoint from within DataVerse. And Power Pages supports uploading and displaying documents to and from SharePoint directly or uh, on a basic forms or the multi-step form on a website. You know, the, this features allow website users to view, download, add, and delete the documents from the web page. Website users can also create the subfolders to organize their documents. To work with the document management capabilities of SharePoint form, within Dataverse, you must enable the document management functionality for your environment. And remember, you can enable SharePoint Online to integrate with that Dataverse without Dynamic 365 app enabled. So Dynamic 365 app is not in mandatory here or the prerequisites. Then you have to set up SharePoint integrations from Power Platform Admin Center. And also you need to make a note that you must be a global administration administrator to perform, uh, you know, to enable the SharePoint integrations or this activities. Then you have to enable the document management of, uh, you know, for tables. You have to configure the appropriate form in the Power, App, Power Apps document or the Power Pages documents. Remember that document management must be enabled for the table for which you are going to edit the form. If it is not enabled there or the table is being not configured accordingly, the you know the functionality won't uh, won't work in that case. The last one is you have to create appropriate table permission and assign it to the appropriate app rules also. This is really important. And a very important note here that file uploading requires the parent table record to exist. If the data from this form setting is created a new record, the document upload will not work because the parent table record is not created until the form is submitted. So this is a great tip you have to you have to uh, consider this. Now I would like to ask Marius to show live that how to enable and integrate the SharePoint in your Power Pages. Can't wait anymore. Let's dive in the real action with Marius. So thanks Ambesh for handing it over. Um, so for enabling document management in Power Pages, you first need to enable it in the Dataverse. So you go to the advanced settings, document management, and there you have the document management settings. And here I've selected the lead on my uh, Power Pages demo site to be enabled. And this one, this lead here is already uh, um, then a document library. After this is set up, I can go to the admin power platform center to my website and it's just called site one here because it's a demo um, and here at the bottom right at services you see SharePoint integration is set to yes and as Ambesh said you need to be a global administrator to enable this but should not be a big problem since the global administrator can access the admin power platform. So then there is a special thing with the forms. So we see the lead form. We've used that form uh, earlier when we talked in the last video uh, about the other document management option, so with notes. Um, here I've set up a new tab, SharePoint, and here I've set up a subgrid. And you might know from the Dataverse that you can su uh, set up a file subgrid but there you use the SharePoint documents as the uh, entity. But here we are using document locations. So the reference to the folder and not the documents inside. Um, as the reference, what we are showing here, and then we integrate it to our Power page. Then Ambesh also mentioned this um, this needs to be, uh, so assuming it's an insert, it needs to be a two-step process. So we first have the, um, the tab input of this form where we fill out some, some fields uh, with insert. 
then in the on success settings, we say we are redirecting to a step two, and we are appending the record ID of the just inserted record in the parameter ID. So let's take a look at request quote two, step two. This is this form right here. And this form is in edit mode and receives its uh, lead from the ID parameter in the query string. And this shows the SharePoint tab we just looked at in the um, in the in the Make Power apps. So, and that's not all of it. We just need some more things. So, oh, oh, I mean, obviously we have the request. Uh, quote two, this is the first tab, the input tab, and then we have the step two here, um, which is the SharePoint tab with the embedded subgrid. So and then in setup, we also need to allow the users to read the SharePoint here. So what we've allowed here is, give me a second, yeah, for, for an authenticated user. Um, we allow the user to, um, to create um, the lead to be able to perform the first step and to actually go to the second step because we are editing a lead we need the read permission to load the, fi uh, the form at all and then to go with uh, the with the sharepoint location we need the append to to append it to the lead and then actually this is a little trick you need the update permission as well to write files so if you want to upload files um, you need the update here and the same thing so give me a second this is a um, uh, a child permission. So with add child permission, the second one here was added. It's the SharePoint document location of the lead, and we need to be able to create it, append it on the lead, so with the lookup. Um, and then read is reading files, update is um, create and update files, and um, or override files, really update is not that much possible and delete is you can also delete files maybe you don't want to give that permission but it's available so and then let's take a look what this looks like in the system when this is all put together so we have the form uh, we have the the um, the sharepoint setup we have the permission setup and our user experience flow that we jump from the first form to the second form so we have a SharePoint lead. I will again go with Ambesh thing because I have pre-configured my own name for testing it, that everything works fine. So it's processing now and it took me to the request quote two step two and appended the ID here. So that allows me, okay, that is the lead. And this lead currently has nothing so we can upload a file and let's load my classic austrian image here we can see the override that needs the update permission and here we can see the file i also have a delete button because i have the delete permission and uh, i also have the option of making a folder so, and this folder you can see right here, I have some breadcrumbs. So if I click on a folder, I go inside it and I can go back the, the hierarchy or, or here, the, up the hierarchy. And of course, in uh, folder test, I can also upload another file. This, of course, reflects in, uh, here it already updated. So in our SharePoint, we see the, um, the folder for the lead, we see the image, we see the folder and the other image. So everything synchronous here. Um, if we take a look at this lead in the, this is the SharePoint one, um, in the system, 
and go to documents. Oh, yes. So, okay, same view, uh, sure. But I want to create maybe another file here. Um, let's call this test doc. So I have a document right now. I've written some stuff inside. And if we refresh this page right here, this should work because we have the ID in the um, in the URL. In the folder test, we suddenly see the test X. There is a difference to what it looks like in Dynamics because right here I can go with the integrated editor um, of, um, of SharePoint. Uh, has this uploaded? Yes. I am questioning why I don't see my text in here, but okay. Um, it looks odd anyways. Uh, same same thing here with the uh, with the SharePoint integration and Power Pages. If I click on this, it's a download. And I might yes okay. Uh, you you will have to believe me. The uh, the the content I've written in there was downloaded, so it's just I don't know my SharePoint um, being weird right now. Um. So this is the experience, and this is the big difference to the uh, standard integration with the with the notes, is that you have to have this two-step process with insert because um, the the location cannot be linked to the record, so the the folder location without an uh, ID. In case of the uh, uploading with the notes integration, this is handled by the portal internally. So you it first creates the lead and then attaches the two notes we saw in the last video um, in one go from a user standpoint. But in reality, of course, it's, it's at least two steps. Um, here we really have to implement those two steps and that is kind of because of the whole foldering and how it works. Um, yeah, and finally, let's delete a file. Ha, ah, ah, the, the file is checked out. Okay, that wouldn't work. Um, and okay, we can uh, delete files from SharePoint as well. And that's everything I have for the demo. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marius. It was really interesting. Um, and for me, it's easy too. Uh, it's not that complicated uh, with all of these wizards and everything. So yeah, also I think we need to make a note there that uh, document management work only with the SharePoint online. And the document management is also supported with, uh, with the server-based integration. The another important aspect here, we don't need to you know, any explicit SharePoint online licenses for this purpose. So if you have the Power Apps licenses, it worked with that way. And um, yeah. Well, and you, you need storage, right? <laughs> yeah. That's kind storage, of a license. For sure. yeah. yeah. And then, uh, but not for the users, you know. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned uh, to this channel by subscribing and pressing the bell icon. Share the videos uh, with your friends and colleagues who are having the same skill sets or they want, uh, you know, the deep dive into the Power Pages. So we will be coming up with a more interesting tip, knowledge sharing and the lesson learning around the Power Pages. Also, please always keep your eyes into the description of the video so you are always up to date with the latest information. Till that, have a nice time and happy learning. Thank you.